Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Thunder Steve 85 Gaming. Thank you for tuning in today. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor. If you enjoy this video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe. So big news today, guys. Huge news. So Analog teased that they are going to be making an announcement this morning at 8 a.m. And they, they tweeted this out, I think, sometime last week, right? And so, like, I put a calendar reminder in my phone because if you know anything about analog, if they do put up something for sale and it is something you want, it will sell out literally in minutes. And I mean, like, two or three minutes. Very similar to how quickly the PlayStation 5 sold out as soon as it became available for pre-order. It's like the same thing with analog. And so I've been supporting analog actually, I would say since day one, but honestly, day one, I think the first product they came out with, if I recall, was the Neo Geo and I did not buy the Neo Geo. So I did support them very early on though. Like you guys can see right here, this is the Analog NT Mini. I love the back of it, it's so cool. This is the OG Analog NT. This is the first one that came out. You can see you got your uh, cartridge slots for the Famicom and for the NES, of course. So you can play Japanese games on here as well. I absolutely love this thing. This is, you know, obviously it's a 1080p regular Nintendo. And it has like all the bells and whistles when it comes to the display options, the sound, the filters, everything. This thing is amazing. And it uses FPGA, which basically like this is not running on emulation. This is actually running on like real Nintendo hardware. So this is really cool. I absolutely love this thing. And also you got four controller ports, which is cool for games like, uh, like Super Off-Road. I'm actually a big fan of off-road. We loved it growing up. So it's really cool that you can play four players. Back in the day, you needed the NES 4 score to do that. So yeah, I love the analog. And by the way, this, this thing was a $500 Nintendo. This was $499 when it came out. And when I saw it, I was like very happy to say, take my money. All right, then we got the Super NT. So again, this is the Super Nintendo version of the analog NT. The only difference is like... This is made out of, uh, I forget what it's called, but they, it's like aluminum or metal that they use on airplanes. That's what this is actually built out of, the shell. And this is a plastic shell. I think this was $199 when it came out. And of course, they don't sell this anymore or the Analog NT. They sold out a long time ago. You can get them on eBay. They're expensive. But again, like I think they're totally worth it because like I grew up with regular Nintendo and Super Nintendo. So for me, this is super exciting to be able to play all your old school games on a modern day television and it actually looks great and there's no input lag and everything else. So I love this. Again, this is the Super NT 1080p Nintendo. Now you guys might be saying, yeah, well, why don't you just get like the NES Classic Edition or the Super Nintendo Classic Edition? And I will say that I do have both of those. I actually have both systems like set up in my guest bedroom. They're modded. So, uh, you know, if anyone comes over to visit, stay the night, obviously they're set up for success. They got Nintendo games in their room with a TV. So yeah, I totally have them. I have a few. I have, I have actually like, I think six of them, three Nintendos and three Supers that are unopened still just sitting in my closet, factory sealed, keep them in mint condition. So I have them, but you guys got to remember those are 720p. Those are not 1080p. So they're not even, they're not like full, full HD, but I love those systems. And I, I, I did buy the analog NT before those even came out. So the analog NT came out prior to the NES classic edition. So maybe I would have just bought the NES Classic Edition, but I'm very happy to have the NT. Obviously, I could sell it right now on eBay and make a pretty penny on it, but I don't want to because I love it. And then, of course, guys, you have the Analog Pocket. So it's your Game Boy, right? Plays Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, Game Boy Color. It actually plays a lot. It plays NES, Super Nintendo. The modding scene for the Analog Pocket is pretty rich. It's pretty awesome. I would say anyone can do it. I, I modded it myself, and it's a soft mod. You're not doing any hardware mod. So, yeah, I absolutely love this. 
This is the original analog. And in a future episode, I will actually be unboxing two of the transparent analog pockets that I got. I got two different colors. That'll be coming in a future video, probably in the next week or so, okay? Now we're gonna get into the main story, guys. This is what I am so excited about. So this was just announced this morning. You can see here, analog 3D. The future is here, 64 bits of pleasure. So you know exactly what that means. The Nintendo 64 is coming out. And look at this, this is insane. All right, so we got wireless Bluetooth controllers. Great, four original style controller ports, which means we'll be able to plug in our original Nintendo 64 controllers on this. Completely engineered in FPGA, analog operating system, no emulation. A reimagining of the N64. Look at this guys, 4K resolution? Are you freaking kidding me? When I saw this, I was like, holy shit. And I gotta say, like, sorry, I don't, I try not to swear on the channel, but when I saw this, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. This is insane. Because the Nintendo 64 is very notoriously known for being like nearly impossible to perfectly emulate. And everyone has always said that there's no way they'll be able to do the Nintendo 64. Now, I have always held out hope and said, I don't know. I feel like they can because I feel like analog really likes to do things that people think they can't do and that they love a good challenge. And I think the Nintendo 64 is probably the most well-known challenge. And after that, it's probably going to be what the PlayStation 3 as something that's extremely hard to emulate, which is why we still don't have like downloadable PS3 games on the PlayStation Store. This is really, this is a big deal, guys. It's it's like not even are we getting a Nintendo 64 that's 1080p. Because that would have been rad, right? It's going to be in 4K. Like, what? And what's crazy is like I just used my 64 like two days ago for a review that I'm doing something on that I'll be showing you guys soon. But I hooked up my Nintendo 64 to a 4K projector. My Nintendo 64 is RGB modded, and I had it hooked up to a retro tink, the most current retro tink. I forget which one I have, but it's the most recent one, right? So basically, I am extracting everything I can to make the image of the Nintendo 64 look as good as it possibly can. And it does look better than a stock 64, let me tell you. But no way in heck is it going to look as good as this analog Nintendo 64. The fact that it's gonna be running in 4K is truly insane. So again, it says original display modes, reference quality recreations of specific model CRTs and PVMs. So that's really cool. You know, CRT televisions, your tube TVs and PVMs, professional video monitors. If you're into retro gaming, you know that PVM is going to be the best way currently until this comes out to play a Nintendo 64. You don't have to, it's just the best way to, okay? I don't have a PVM, but I have a really cool Toshiba, I think 20 inch CRT that's really nice and it does have RGB on it. So it says the first and only aftermarket solution supporting 100% compatibility in every region, USA, Europe, and Japan coming in 2024. And then we have a little bit of a picture here. You can't see the whole picture. Like you can't really see the left side, but it's interesting. It almost looks like a switch pro controller and then you got your c buttons right here so it's interesting i'll be interested like to see the whole picture because of course you know with the 64 got my controller here but of course with that you hold it like this in the middle with your joystick here and you can see in this picture the joystick's going to be over here where the d-pad was so then i'm wondering like all right well where's the d-pad going to be uh is it going to be underneath maybe I would presume, but again, you know, they're trying to be secretive and not show the whole controller. So hopefully we'll hear something about this before too long. I, I don't know when they're gonna start like releasing 
revealing more information about it. So I'll, as of right now, all you can do guys is, is click right here, noti notify me when available. And of course they will send you an email, but that's it. So all I can say is like, if you're interested in this product, if you're as excited as I am, follow them on Twitter. That's where I follow them. And that's where I saw the tweet about today's news that was gonna be coming out. So this is super exciting. If you're a fan of the Nintendo 64, if you love it, if you love it as much as I do, if you have fond memories, I, I got to say like trying to hook up a 64 today to a modern day television is a absolutely horrible experience. It looks bad. It doesn't display correctly. And the input lag is horrendous. And it's obviously very hard to even hook up a 64 to a modern day TV. It's a very poor experience. My 64 is in the in the best position possible because it's RGB modded and I use a retro tink. There is no lag. But again, Nintendo 64 games are known for looking blurry. It just is what it is. So to see this in 4K, like I can't wait to see when they release their first video showing what this thing looks like. That's going to be exciting. Again, guys, this is something to look forward to. If you're interested, I would start saving now. I'm guessing it's not going to be cheap. At any rate, guys, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're as excited as I am. If you are, please drop a comment. Let me know if you're planning on picking this up regardless of the price. So looking forward to picking this up and eventually reviewing this when it comes out. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. What's up, guys? If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button as it helps me out a ton. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Over here to the left, you can find all my social media info or just remember to search for ThunderSteve85. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. And remember, you're never too old to play video games.